My name is Samu from the Bukwa Rescue. And this is So we've made this project. It's called Automatic Water Pump and Soil Pump. So what this project does is when the water pump pumps water from the reservoir into the tank and then reaches certain level, it automatically cuts the power of the pump so that it doesn't pump again. This is a major problem in Ghana because most tanks that we use in our houses does not have any automated system for it to cut the pump. So um, I might leave my house and then if the, the water pump is pumping my water into the tank, it might overflow. So it's waste water and then electricity. So it's a problem statement. So overflow of water resulting from manual control of water pump. And then wasted of water, wasted of electricity, and then this results in the increase of water cost and electricity cost. And then this problem affects schools, home, public facilities, and water reservoir sites. So we have this aim. Create an electronic system which automatically regulates the water pump to prevent overflow and shortage of water. Ensure constant availability of water and then prevent wastage of water in the city. Mm -hmm. okay. So in this technological era, automation has become part of human beings. And then one device which is very prominent in the automated sector is the relay switch. So I'll take some few minutes to explain the relay switch. Okay. And then we go to the diagrammatic implementation of the whole project before I test it. Okay. So we come to the relay switch. So the relay switch is electromagnetically induced switch. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it is like the traditional switch. Just get that. You pass electric current through it so that it can act as a switch. Okay. So when you, 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 you take a look at this one, you have the light and the neutral. And then these are coils. So when you pass electric current through these coils, it generates a magnetic field. And then tends to attract this armature. It's called an armature. So the armature will switch to this circuit or this one. Okay. Yes. So it said a switch. Yes. Yes. So you come to the diagrammatic representation of this coil. Okay. okay. So this is the relay, the black device. Yep. Yes. And then, um, as, as I was saying, it controls two circuits. Mm -hmm. It controls two circuits. So this is one complete circuit. And then from the armature to the water pump is another circuit. Uh -huh. So what it's going to do is, um, we have uh, two conductors inside the water. So when the water pumps, and then it touches these two co uh, conductors, it completes circuit of one part. Okay. It reduces uh, current in the coils, and the coils generates magnetic field. And then they attract the armature. So if they attract the armature, and then uh, this conductor will, will shift from the conductor which is making the water pump mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the water pump will automatically turn off. Okay, yes. okay. So um, at this stage, I would like to allow for my brother to test this for Yes. So the water is pumping from the reservoir to the tank. So if it is reaching this, and then pack the stops. So we have LED which will indicate that. Mm. Yes. So when the other circuit is on, the blue light is on yes. to indicate that the other circuit is, yes. is on, yes. which indicates it's full. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, very nice. It's not a major problem. Yes. So we move to this. Okay. How long did it take for you to, to do that? Yes. To do the system? So, this simple switch mm -hmm. is very easy to do. Uh, uh, it took us about three days to build because of these ones. Like, it was just for prototype. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. It's really a version of whatever we are trying to do. That's it. But, mm -hmm. but to build the main device, to, we, can, we can build about 50 pieces in a day. Okay. Yes. So if we were to make a device out of it, mm -hmm. yes, we, 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 could, we could make 50 pieces out of it mm -hmm. in a day. Okay. So we come to uh, this project. It's okay. called Four Step Activated Security Alarm. Mm -hmm. So the problem statement is the problem of finding quality, secure, quality security measure to counter robbery and theft that takes place in homes and institutions. Okay. Yes, so our aim is to create an electronic device that sounds alarm to indicate robbery when robbers step on them. 
Yes. Can mm -hmm. you provide a vision way of securing homes and institutions? Yes. So in our power tools, we have buzzer, we have two flexible boards, we have connector wires, and then a power supply, and then yes. Okay. So the boards can be installed at vantage point or security risk places okay. in the house, and then and then connected to a powerful alarm system. Mm -hmm. So if an intruder breaks into the house and then steps on these boards, it will um, it will sound to, to indicate that there's a team. Uh -huh. So I'll let my brother take this thing. Okay. Okay. Of homes and so it's a pressure plate. Yes, uh, yes. So, mm -hmm. so once it steps on it, there are uh, conductors, two conductors, mm -hmm. uh, one at the upper board and one on the lower board. Okay. So if the person steps on it and then it touches, it will close the circuit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is also a major problem in the security. Uh, yes. Okay. We are done for the Okay. Thank you very much. So, what do you think of STEM? What's why do you like STEM? What's the importance of STEM? Yes, I like I like STEM a lot because I want Ghana to become top in one of the uh, technologically developed countries. So, Ghana is a developing country. So, we have to introduce STEM into our system. So, we have to encourage more students to like STEM, to study STEM, so that Ghana will become a great country. I I, really, I I am interested in STEM because mm -hmm. I want to help Ghana to move forward. What does STEM do? STEM. Mm -hmm. Yes, STEM. STEM enables us to think and then come out with innovative solutions. Mm -hmm. yes. That will help to solve the major problems in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you.